see. Good evening. I'm call, I call it the regular city council meeting for the city of Sierra Vista for November 25 to order. May I have a roll call, please? Mayor Bob Strain. Mayor Pro Tem Rick Mueller. Present. Councilman Bob Blanchard. Here. Council member Carol Doctor. Here. Councilwoman Hank Husking. Present. Councilman Craig Johnson. Present. Council member Tom Reardon. Present. Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, you have a quorum. Thank you. Uh, tonight we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Dr. Craig Johnson, followed immediately by uh, the invocation, led by Pastor Craig Rolls of the God is Good Ministries. Please stand. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Bow your hearts with me in a word of prayer. Father God, as we come before you today right now, Lord, we give you thanks that you are Lord and God, Savior, Master, and King. And we ask right now, Father, the business conducted in this room be pleasing in your sight. Bless the Mayor Pro Temp and all city council members right now. Father, may the business they do, Lord, be done with compassion, with understanding, with love, with insight, Father, with direction. Father, I thank you that you are the God who supplies all our needs, Lord. And I thank you that the business conducted here, Father, will reach out and minister to those, Father, who have needs right now, whether it's physical or financial or mental, whatever it is right now. God, we thank you this body takes time to acknowledge you in prayer, to acknowledge you as the source of all our answers, all that we need. We thank you we're part of a blessed nation, a blessed city, and a blessed state. And to you be all the glory as we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. <coughs> First item is the acceptance of the agenda. Mrs. Husky. Thank you, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. I move that the agenda for the regular City Council meeting of November 25th, 2008 be approved as written. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Call for the question. All in favor? Unanimous. Uh, the next item on the agenda is a report from the Mayor. Mayor didn't leave me any notes. And I don't see a City Manager's report. Do we have one of those? I have a few items. If, uh... if you would, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, pro tem, members of the council. Um, first of all, just very quickly, Councilman Reardon asked me to respond to publicly to those who may have been watching the last council meeting and heard an inquiry from one of our residents on why certain roads were paved and not others. And I just very briefly wanted to explain that the city does have a very comprehensive system of evaluating our roads and that in this particular situation, the, the roads that are failing are not getting the funding because it costs about 750000 to a million dollars per mile. So roads like Fry Boulevard and Wilcox, 7th Street, uh, part of Coronado, that will need to wait until we actually have um, the requisite amount of funding to do it properly. So what we did is uh, spend the money that we had this year on basically extending the life of some other arterial roads by adding a um, overlay, a rubberized chip seal to, um, as you may have seen, St. Andrews, Avenue de Cochise. And that will extend the life of those roads by another 10 to 15 years at a quarter of the cost of a major overlay or reconstruction. So um, we do have a, a reason behind the decisions that we make and certainly wanted to make sure that our community understood that. The other, uh, two other small things I wanted to mention, we did award a reverse 911 system to a company called Reverse 911. It was a $49,000 project. 25 of that is coming from a grant from the Tohono O'odham Nation that we received last year. Uh, this is really a terrific addition to the city's emergency preparedness tools. It will allow us, once complete, to be able to call out to um, residents on both cell phones and their home phone by geographic area, by any number of different criteria with an emergency message from our police department. So in the event of an evacuation or if we wanted to notify um, people of, so of a major traffic issue or something, we could actually make that phone call out and we will now have that technology to do that. 
And then finally, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, just a reminder that um, Council is holding your regular work session on Monday, December the 8th at 3 o'clock. And then on Tuesday the 9th, an additional work session at 3 o'clock where you will discuss your um, water strategic objective and um, also a report on alternative fuels. And then finally, your regular meeting on Thursday the 11th here in the Council Chambers at 5 p.m. Thank you, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. Thank you, Mrs. Jacobs. The next item is the consent agenda. Mr. Reardon. Thank you, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. I move that the consent agenda, consisting of the regular City Council meeting minutes of November 13, 2008, and Resolution 2008-168, an application for a temporary extension of premises patio permit for the Rendezvous Nightclub for January 18, 2009 for Oberon, a defense contractor's award ceremony be approved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Seeing no discussion, all in favor? It's unanimous. Next is new business, item number three, Mrs. Doctor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. I move that resolution 2008-169, authorizing the funding switch for the Charleston Road widening project from the fiscal year 2007-2008 SEGO tip to the uh, fiscal year 2009-2010 uh, tip be approved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Staff report, Mr. Dooley. Good evening, Mayor Pro Tem Mayor, members of the Council, ladies and gentlemen. For you tonight is a resolution allowing the City of Sierra Vista to swap the Charleston Widening Project for the Bisbee Avenue uh, project on the SEGO tip. Federal funding is available through SEGO for the construction of the Charleston project. However, the city has requested from ADOT to swap the federal funding for her funding to construct the project using local standards instead of federal standards and requirements of saving on construction costs. As you're aware, the state is experiencing some financial constraints that prevents them from swapping the federal monies for her funds at this time. Since the Best Bee Arizona Avenue project is next on the Seagull list for funding in 2010, we are recommending that we swap places with them on the Seagull tip so they can proceed with their project using federal funds and guidelines. And the City of Sarah Vista will then construct the Charleston Widening Project in the year 2009-2010, when hopefully when the state of Arizona is a little, has a little bit better of a financial situation. Is there any questions I can answer for you tonight? Council. Sure. Could you tell us exactly how much we'll save by, by doing what we're doing? Uh, Mayor Pro Tem, um, Councilman Reardon, approximately um, Thirty percent is what we're saving uh, in cost, mostly because using federal funds, you're doing projects through Davis Bacon. You're doing uh, a lot of uh, environmental things that are above and beyond what we do on a local basis. So on this project, which is approximately three million dollars, we're probably saving over a million dollars by by waiting. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? <coughs> Seeing no further discussion, I'll call for the question. All in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. Next item is item number four, <coughs> Dr. Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. I move that resolution 2008-170, authorizing the acceptance of an oversight council on driving or operating under under the influence of Bateman grant funding be approved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Staff report, Chief Kimmel. Thank you. Um, Mr. Mayor, pro tem, members of council, and ladies and gentlemen, uh, approval of this resolution will permit the police department to purchase two portable breath test systems, or PBTs, for a total of $990. These funds were received on a grant from the Oversight Council on driving or operating under the influence of uh, alcohol abatement through the Arizona Criminal Justice Commission. The P PBTs will be used by the officers to conduct uh, field testing of those drivers suspected of being impaired or under the influence of alcohol. I would mention that our request uh, for equipment was considerably larger, but I, I think we're all seeing the uh, the trends for re reduction in grant funding, so we're quite happy to get at least these two B, uh, PBT um, devices for our officers on the street, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have at this time. Questions? Seeing no questions, no any or further discussion, I'll call the question. All in favor? Opposed? It's unanimous. 